most record stores don't carry our records. So we carry them. And we put them on display and give you an opportunity to take some of our records home with you and add to your music library. We do this strictly as a convenience to you. Strictly. The fact that we make a lot of money off of them ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Since we've been singing as the Masters Five, we've recorded and released 15 long play albums. And every one of our albums has got songs on both sides. And then each member of the Masters Five, he's coming on next, you know, he's just getting ready, getting on the suit. Each member of the Masters Five has got an album that features him. It doesn't mean it's a solo album, it is not. It's like all the rest of the albums, only features one particular person. So if you've got a favorite in the group, such as me, then you can take that album home with you. Now we have cassette tapes, but our albums and our tapes are different prices. They used to be the same price, but now there's a difference in the prices of our album and our tapes. I don't know what that is, but he looks like one that had a good return. <laughs> you know, about three years ago, record companies quit making eight tracks. There is no more eight tracks. Now they are going to quit making records, LPs. They want to start making these discs, these high price discs. They're going to quit making LPs. So when I learned that our record company wasn't going to make any more records, I knew where the warehouse was. I got my pickup truck about 12 o'clock one night, went over and stole what they had. So we can give you a good deal on our records, but we ain't got nothing invested in them. <laughs> so listen closely if you got a record player and if that record player is working. If you ain't got no record player and it's broke down, then just forget this announcement. But you can get one record for five dollars. One record for five dollars. You can get four records if you want as many as four for ten dollars. I think you broke the buzz too. I can. Four records for ten dollars. Now don't come up and ask for two records for five dollars just cause you get four for ten. You just get two records and it'll still gonna cost you ten dollars. So they're five dollars each or four for ten. You say well that don't make sense. Well we don't care what it does or not. We want to sell four records. So that's why we put that on there. You can get eight records for $20 and 12 records for $30. So seriously, you ought to stock up on your records tonight. Now our tapes cost more than that. We had to pay for them. The tapes are $8 each or four for 20 Four for 20 or eight dollars for one of them. After you buy four, then you can buy as many as you wish for five dollars a piece. I 
know that you need gospel records in your home. And you need gospel cassettes in your automobile. I don't listen to the radio. I got one in my car, but I don't never cut that baby on. I don't listen to music. By the time I hear us for an hour and a half every night, I'm sick of it. <laughs> but I had me one of them stereos put in my automobile, and it's a big one. It's got four speakers all the way around me. Got it cut. I got it so you can hear it. Everywhere you look, there's a speaker looking back at you. And when me and my little darling, lovely, beautiful wife start to take a trip somewhere, I got me one of the master five tapes. I put it in that little hole up in the dashboard and cut that jewel wide open and can't hear nothing she said. <laughs> can't tell me that our tapes ain't valuable. <laughs> So you men need to get you some tape for your car. This is a songbook, and the reason they call it a songbook because it's got songs in it. Price of it, five dollars. Got a lot of songs I wrote in it, the old country churches in it. And I know you sitting out there saying I could care less about you and your songbook, but I don't want no songbook. I don't need no songbook because I can sing. But if you'll buy you a songbook and take it everywhere you go, people will thank you for singing. <laughs> I personally don't ever leave home without my songbook. <laughs> Most of you all ago heard me talking about Reverend Hobie Lister when I introduced him. Holy Lister has been playing the piano for gospel music for a long time. He started playing the same year that White Thread came out. <laughs> and he's had many honors bestowed on him. Plus, being in every hall of fame that a man can be in, Holy has also been made a doctor. He is now Dr. Holy Lister. Don't walk up to Holy and say, I hope you, baby. It's Dr. Holy Lister. Holy's been playing the piano a long time. I ain't been singing long enough to be no doctor. But this coming Sunday afternoon, in tight Ward, Missouri, at the high school at two o'clock, they're making me a nursing day. <laughs> let's give let's give this gentleman a hand for bringing gospel music to this beautiful park. Right, don't forget now get your tickets up here. We're going.